All right, good day, tubes. How's she going? So we're gonna try this drive thing again. 98.99.9999% of you say you got to do it through uh, all that drive thingy. I know where it is, but I think it was in here. Oh, I can't remember. Oh no, you got to right click the computer, go to manage. Now I haven't put the drive back in. Disk management, that was it. Yeah, so hopefully uh, once we get her hooked back up here, we got her sitting here in the bag still. Uh, we'll see a thingy here and then we'll do that, you know, format thingy into the NTFS crap and all that. So we gotta shut her down first. Shut her down. Okay. We'll wait till that's done and then we'll uh, hook in the drive here again. Okay, we're all good to go. Contact. Now we'll let her boot up. And we'll go back into that drive manager thing and see if we can do anything. All right, so we just clicked on the manage Dewey, but it's still loading. Oh, there we go. Okay, disk management. Finder, finder. You must initialize the disk before local disk manager can access it. Disk one. Master boot record, I believe that's right. So it's figuring that out, I guess. Um, hmm. Is that it there, I wonder? Disk. Where would they go? Yeah, that's it there. Three, two point seven, basically, gigabyte. Um, or terabyte, sorry. Uh, why would they go disk zero and then disk one? Wouldn't you think disk one would be your main hard drive? I don't know. Okay, now. What do we got to do now? Uh, hmm. Convert to properties. Hmm. New simple volume, I guess. Oh, we want to make this X drive. Friggin' right. Mount. So next we'll format this volume, then TFS, click format, and go. Alright, that's doing something anyways. I don't know if you guys can see her too, too well there, but... Oh, it says open new volume. There we go. New volume, X drive. Okay, oh, I don't really need to look at that right now. I want to go in here. There she be. Now, it's only showing 1.99 terabyte, and it's supposed to be 3. That's not what I wanted. So, something is not quite right here yet. Now, I've almost got a terabyte of unallocated. I don't know why it's done that in a separate partition. Hmm. Very interesting. Well, I'll mess around with it here for a minute and see if I can figure anything out. Well, I don't think I can do anything with this uh, partition here. It's almost, well, 746 gigabytes, so it's not quite a gig I'm losing there, because uh, basically I can't access it. So, I don't know, do I need to do something else, or do I need that uh, control card thingy that uh, that lady was mentioning in that video there last night? Everything seems okay. Uh... 
we can open her up and uh, oh what are we gonna copy in here I don't really have maybe we'll copy that in there move that to there yeah it seems to be going 96 megasecond 109 megasecond she's working but uh, it's interesting uh, that I can't access that other partition so I'm wondering if the Windows is having an issue with it but anyways uh, if you got any more info or freaking helped me the first time let's let me know and uh, we'll see if we can figure this out alright little update here I uh, undid that uh, the Dewey that was there before and I re uh, restarted it and I had to right click here and convert this oh not that uh, what the heck did I do here now <laughs> uh, it was set as an MBR disk and that's what ended up putting her into the two Deweys there so I'm like what the frig so I thought well let's try converting to a GPT disk and boom she's all one Dewey again so okay that works good so now I'll make a new simple volume blah 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 yeah, that sounds about right. Can make her an X drive again. And do that. And for a quick NTFS, everything looks good. Okay, so we will format it. Formatting, 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 and new volume X. Sweet. Okay, so let's go have a look. Whoops, now at this Dewey, and there we go. 2.72 terabyte free. I don't know why they claim it as three, uh, three uh, which McCollum's because it's not actually three. Well, it shows it there, free space, but three, but it actually comes up as 2.72 terabytes. So I don't know. But there we go. We fingered it out. Holy frig! There we go. Well, that seems to be solved. The hard drive thingy there. Uh, thanks for all your help too, and all that stuff. And. Uh, uh, I'd never done a hard drive like that in the dark. I never done a hard drive that way before. I've the last time, honestly, I've done a hard drive when I put a new one in a computer or an additional one. You had to do it through um, the MS DOS, which is really old <laughs> disk operating system, and uh, it's no even. Well, I guess there's still sort of a command prompty thing uh, with the Windows, but. Uh, not too much anymore, so she's all done kind of through the windows, which is sort of nice. But, uh, uh, yeah, like the last time I put in like an operating system, you had to like boot it out of the, boot it off the CD or something like that, and, and uh, set your CD drive as your primary drive and everything, and so it would boot up off of there and then copy it. Like, uh, it's pretty getting pretty old school, I know, like, but it's been a while since I've actually, you know, built a computer and done her my own way kind of thing is the last two two or three I've just gone over to future scrap and bought you know just do her that way and done so but uh, yeah anyway she seems good so I'm all happy and stuff we'll be able to make lots of freaking movies and stuff and farm sim movies or stuff or whatever and and uh, stuff like that so anyways we're gonna go do a little bit more mowing and uh, then we're gonna maybe go work on that loader bucket a bit more So we're all done our mowing, and uh, we're on a big machine now. We're just gonna run her down to the uh, back part of the garage there and take the bucket off the front so I can get measuring up for uh, making the brackety thing on the, uh, the new bucket we're making there. So let's fire up. And let's head her down.
open here. And uh, I haven't done this for a while, eh? Uh, ee, ee, uh, um, uh. Uh -huh. Anyways, uh, yeah, so we got to make the lock and deweys. And uh, you can see how these things work. They kind of fire a, a spear down into uh, basically the bottom thing here. And uh, this one I think is it's doubled over, but I've seen lots where they're just like this top plate thing basically. But it's on a hair bit of an angle too, so we're going to have to do a bit of screwing around here to get that figured, figured out. So, but. Uh, Amazing these things work as do as they will, you know, because I've never lubed them or nothing, you know, and they mostly stay on, I guess, all the time, but anyways, uh, let's get stuff situated here. We'll just pull the welder just out the door here. Nice having that on wheels, I'll tell you. Oh, saved so much time. And I'll fire the cart back under the front thing there, and I'll take it out, spin it around, and then we're going to see what this thing's going to look like on here, sort of kind of thing. Okay. I don't mean to brag or nothing, but I want to show you how good I am, okay? You guys seen me, or yeah, I think you did, I think I filmed it, I can't remember, I haven't been filming a whole lot of this, but when I set this thing up, I just, yeah, I did film that, I just kind of eyeballed her and freaking bloop, bloop, and then started bitting bigger tacks on to, uh, you know, to solid her up a bit, right? I freaking got where that one unmounted. I didn't change the these two here the way they the angle right this way. So that would change the, the plates on the Deweys. Didn't change it at all. Just dropped her off, drove it ahead a foot. I have freaking got it bang right on. <laughs> Holy crap, that is perfect. Like bang right on, I mean by having this going. This way or more back or forth, right? Freaking bang, right on. And uh, that looks pretty good where between the Deweys too. It's actually got to come this way, just a hair. Not much though. Oh yeah, like I'm gonna kick this thing, eh? Oh, too much. It's just on the inside. Yeah, it's too much. Good enough. Yeah, we got that freaking bang right on. Can't believe her. So, I guess this area here that's sort of scrubbled off is how much they've got. So it's, you got to measure from here down, and that'll give us how long of a piece. And I don't know whether I want to set her up kind of like that one is, or just run the bar straight across. I don't know, I haven't figured that out yet. Guys over here surveying or something. There's actually a survey starting point mark on the corner of our church there. To show you that sometime. But uh, I know I've seen some three or a three point hitch. Holy jumping. Well, these are actually different because they're actually bent there and then welded on. But I'm gonna do something like this I think too, but it'll be split here and then welded back in. But uh, this is where she's all welded strong, right? So. Uh, yeah, because they don't have any weld under there, so that's, hmm, gonna, gonna try to sort of set it up like this, I think. Maybe plasma cut out like they did with these, and then in there for more strength, more holding power. Now, could go that way, or you could just put a, the bar across and then the bottom thing and rock on, you know, but I kind of want her fairly beefy. So, um, just sort of brainstorming myself here. We'll have to, uh, of course, level it because it doesn't look to me like it's the tractor is probably not sitting quite level because the driveway actually goes down that way. So it actually looks lower to me, you know, it is for sure than on this side. So we'll have to make sure we measure the uh, the plate right when we cut her here before we glue her on. Now I've got this stuff. I want to do it out of the 3 8 plate, which is this stuff, but I think this is going to have to come out of this side because if you look down here, she's pretty square and straight, but if you look this way, 
She's almost a horseshoe shape. <laughs> kind of not. There's a big bend in her right there. I don't even know if I can get that out of there. Probably not. I don't know how it would get bent, but I think maybe I'll cut it out of this piece. And uh, we're going to need our tape. Tape measure. Where the heck did my tape measure go? There's one here, actually. And uh, I think I might just do the thing right across. So from there, we'll say to. We do a 44 and a half. And actually, where I got her mounted right there is pretty good. Could maybe go down a hair bit more. That would give me a little bit more beef to weld on the top plates there, but I think if I start it here, it's going to give me lots, so we'll just go with this measurement over here, we'll say, which is, if we start it at, oh, we'll say four inch, looks pretty good to me, actually, I don't like these tapes much, yeah, we'll say four inch, and this has got to come out inch and a quarter, roughly it looks like, so... We're going to start on the this end first, and then I can hook under it, pick it up, and then start measuring on the bottom thing. But I doubt we'll get to the bottom part of it today. But I'll get the plasma hooked up here and get this uh, piece cut out of here. And uh, we'll get her roughly mounted on there where we want her. And uh, put a little tack on it, maybe just to hold it on each side. Because I want it to be square too, right? Like where it's sitting now, it's gonna the bucket's gonna end up being like this kind of thing, right? It's gonna be kind of screwed. So let's get going on that. All right, so we got our piece of stiff, and I left her a bit longer because I might just carve this out of here, and then I'll mush it into there, nice, you know. So that's our piece of stiff. Hopefully, I got her long enough. Well, it kind of looks like I don't, but eh, eh. oh well. I should have maybe left her just a hair a bit longer, but uh, I think it'll still work. We're just going to have to uh, do a little bit of canarvering, I guess. Actually, you know what? I'm just going to cut it to the length of that. Heck with it. So I'll just have to cut a little hair a bit more off her, something like that. And we'll just chop her off there somewhere. Let me do that. Hang on a sec. Okay, I think we pretty much got her. Off a little bit there, maybe, but I think if we welded it on there, give her a couple of spots, get her measured and give her a couple of spots, that is, and uh, we'll be good. So give me one sec and we'll do that up. All right, so I got it just very lightly spotted on there. Should have probably put a little bit more on, but I just want to see if this is going to mush up okay here now. We're going to lift her. Gonna be all right, and I think it might have just bent it too. <laughs> so we're gonna have to do a bit of straighten, I guess. It looks like it kind of pushed up on me here a little bit. It's still kind of warm, but maybe I'll tack her down just a little bit stronger first. Hang on a sec. Okay, so we got it a little bit better now, and uh, we're gonna try this again here. It should be should be all right now. off there a hair bit so I can maybe smash her down a little bit or uh, I don't know now if I can or not but it's not bang on not 100% satisfied with that uh, I guess I could put it down and try to hit it a bit I didn't weld it too hard yet Let's see what we can do here well I got her smashed down a little bit it's not bad I kind of wish I did make it a bit longer though, but we'll try her, I guess. Uh, these ones didn't look much longer, but I guess it tricks you a bit because it kind of goes up in behind the bend, right? So, we'll try her, I guess. Worst comes to worst, I gotta chop it off. So, I'll probably do a bit of more welding on it, maybe some more through there, and then a couple more here just to kind of hold her tight. And uh, we'll try that out. 
So we'll put her down again. Actually, watch the curl here. That looks pretty slick. That'll hold a fair bit of dirt in there, I'm thinking. Now I can't go the other way because she'll just fall off. To a certain point, it'll just kind of do its own floppy thing there, yeah. So, but, uh, looks pretty good to me. Now, another thing was, we got her pretty close. That's the indicator there to tell you your bucket's level when these two notches line up. We got her pretty good there, so I'm pretty happy. That won't change at all. So we'll cut this off. And we'll do some more welding. Well, we did a bit more welding on the inside here. Figured I better glue both sides of the bottom plate. Now she's still a little flobbly in the middle, I noticed. But uh, I am going to run some of those uh, whatever width, I think they're three inch, uh, strips along the bottom of this. Kind of like a wear strip too, right? And uh, those will probably be three eighths. And... Uh, out of this piece here like that, cut some more of that, put strips on it, weld those on, and uh, then side strip plates too to help this side a bit, and they're probably going to be, I don't know, whatever, three in it, three inch probably again, and uh, then we'll weld the bottom plate on for the uh, scraper blade, probably make it stick out, uh, I don't know, something like this, and then weld all in here underneath and as many places as we can. I was going to bolt it and I thought, no, I'm just going to weld it on, what the heck. So then we also got this sort of soldered up here pretty good. Doesn't look too bad. I didn't go too crazy in the middle, but I still want to make plates here and then I can do like sort of what they did here. And uh, helps this from bending up, although she's welded on pretty solid. I don't know how it would, but I could see it bending this right now because she's not super strong. But uh, yeah, we'll do that. Put like plates on and then other deweys on to help push on each side too, right? So that should make her strong, I think. I think. And then we got to do our uh, lock and deweys here. Not a whole lot of clearance on that, is there? Hmm. It's interesting. I guess there's not on this either. It's flat right to the bucket, really. So you just got to kind of make a plate thingy like that, and uh, I might do something like they've done too, just to run it, you know, with the cutout plate thing in there, and then run a, another dewy down and then over like that kind of thing to help brace it a bit more too. So when you're uh, curling your bucket, there's going to be a lot of force pulling on the top, but also pushing on the bottom, so it's going to need a bit of support and stuff there and beefed up a bit but mind you this and even the other bucket I don't uh, generally use it for uh, real hard stuff it's already stuff that's sort of been dug up and kind of fluffed up uh, with air and stuff right after I'm digging it it's the backhoe part that takes all the abuse so this is actually just going to end up pushing into a already disturbed I guess you'd say pile or uh, this one actually will probably mostly just get topsoil back there that's what I'm thinking, uh, and it's like super soft, I could probably use her now, but I wouldn't be able to dump it out because as soon as I tip it forward, she'd fall off. So, yeah, I guess that's probably going to be it for today. Got to go home and get this all edited up and stuff. Takes a lot of time, you know, so we'll shut things down here for now. Ow. Uh, 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 that's a really tight uh, valve on this one for some reason. And, uh, good. So, uh... Yeah, I guess probably the next Dewey will be is to make the bottom thing, so at least I can put it on, take it off, and, you know, be able to, uh, like to be able to flip it right around underneath, you know, and then be able to work on it like in here when I'm putting the strips on. That'd be nice. Either that or I'll just have to flip it upside down, but anyways, I guess we'll shut her down for today. Well, I'll tell you, that looks strange up there. <laughs> it looks so narrow. Oh, but anyways, let's, uh, we're going to park it inside here. Worked pretty good. 
Well, there's a first. Never seen uh, ducks going up the river before. Don't shake your tail at me, you sick freak. Holy. Huh. They're actually sort of sitting in this rapidy sort of area and they took off and then flew kind of up into there and. Hmm, weird. Yeah, you never know what you're going to find in the river. I haven't seen Freddy the fish yet this year. He's probably been eating or something. But, anyways, that is it for today. I'm freaking beat. Did a bunch of weed whacking today and then cutting grass, mowing and stuff, you know. It doesn't end. Doesn't end. I swear I need to get like a barn full of goats or sheep or something to mow that down at night, you know, but they don't clean up after themselves, so it makes a heck of a mess. But uh, anyways, thanks again for all your uh, uh, comments and stuff on the hard drive situation there. Looks like we got her up and running, and uh, she all seems good. So anyways, uh, tomorrow I don't know what we're going to get into. I'm not sure yet. We'll see. But anyways, you guys have a good night and stuff, and uh, we'll talk to you tomorrow.